What's up guys, in this video we're going to show you exactly what you should do if you get banned or shadow banned from Tinder and other dating apps. Alright, so before we jump into exactly what you should do, let's first go over what it means to be banned or shadow banned. So being banned is quite simple. Uh, it will either tell you that your account has been disconnected or disabled, or it will simply say, uh, you know, you cannot log in for whatever reason, right? It'll just be some bullshit type of thing. And every app tells you a little differently. Now, they're always sneaky. Sometimes, I believe it's Bumble and Hinge, they don't tell you directly your account has been disabled. They say, oh, your account cannot be found, blah, 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 some bullshit, 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 right? So, but it's pretty clear when your account has been banned. Being shadow banned is not so clear. Again, these dating apps are fucking snakes, right? Unfortunately, it is what it is. Now, they're still definitely worth using, but they're very sneaky. So what it means to be shadow banned is basically is that your profile is not being actively shown to girls. So the question is, how do you know you're shadow banned? I think that quite often guys jump to the conclusion that shadow banned when not getting matches when that's not always the case. But one of the best methods of determining is so you look for a big discrepancy between different dating apps. So for example, you create a profile and you're getting you know two matches on Tinder, but then you're getting 20 matches on Bumble and 50 matches on Hinge. That's a pretty good sign that you're shadow banned, assuming that your profile is the same. Let's say you're getting one match on Tinder, two matches on Bumble, one match on Hinge. Chances are you're not shadow banned. Your profile just sucks because the chance of you getting shadow banned across three different apps is really rare. So this is kind of the baseline that you're using. You're taking a look at all these different dating apps and you're seeing if there's a big discrepancy in the data. And if there is, then chances are you're shadow banned and you do need to reset your profile. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the content on this channel, then make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and click that bell for notification. All right, now that we've established that you're either banned or shadow banned, what do you do next? Now, both of those are gonna be handled pretty much in the same way. You might be thinking, well, why don't I just reach out to Tinder, Bumble, and talk to them directly, explain the situation. Lol. There's no way you're gonna get anywhere with their customer service. It's a dead end. I've tried a million times, so have everyone else. The only thing you can possibly do is create a new account. Unfortunately, whatever payment that you have going, if you have the premium version, is gonna be lost. There's nothing you can do about that, so it's not even worth trying. You're simply gonna waste your time. Now, when it comes to resetting your profile, there's different, let's just say, extremes that you can go to, right? And one of the easiest things you can do, the I would say, you know, plan A, is simply just creating a new phone number, right? So you're gonna use Google voice or one of the other apps that are out there for creating a new phone number. You're not going to be able to do it with the same phone number that you have. That's not going to work. Creating a new phone number and simply recreating the account. Now, of course, that might not work. There's different kinds of bands that these apps use. They're very sneaky, as I mentioned earlier. So that's going to be the first step. Now, if that doesn't work, you have to take things a step further. So let's kind of walk through what you're going to do. So the first thing you're going to do is delete the Tinder app on your phone. Then you're going to factory reset your phone. Now, you might be thinking, oh, fuck, I don't want to do that. It is highly recommended. I wouldn't say it's essential. Another thing you can do if you don't want to factory reset your phone is you can create the app on someone else's phone. So if you have a second phone, that's going to be great. Or if you have a different SIM card, that's going to be even better. What I've done in the past is I simply created the phone on my mom's, uh, created the account on my mom's phone. So I'll just have my mom create the account and then I will use it on my phone and that will work, right? So that's one thing you can do. You can use a family member's or friend's phone or you can factory reset your phone. So there's different options or you can have a secondary burner phone or a different SIM card, right? Different alternatives to the same thing. Now, option three, and again, this is also highly recommended, is download a VPN. You can use NordVPN, that's one that we personally use, or my pseudo app is another one. Basically, you need some cloaking software. Again, not necessary, but encouraged. Uh, and then we've established the next part is using a new phone number, right? So that's gonna be crucial. There's no way around that, so don't even try. Then step number five is gonna be delete the metadata of your pictures used in the original profile before re-uploading on your new profile. So what we really recommend with this is you take each one of the photos you're going to use and you cut it by maybe 1%, right? So you can to put in a tiny bite in the photo, you can cut it by 1%. The photo is going to look exactly the same, but when the algorithm on Tinder, Bumble, or whatever scans the photo, it's going to be a different photo, right? So unless it's um, being manually reviewed by a person, it's going to get you around. So again, you can just open it up in Photoshop or whatever, any kind of software and cut it by like a split percentage. And there you go. You have a new photo. 
Now, if you, when you log in, uh, you know, you might be thinking, oh shit, should I do a different, uh, you know, age, blah, blah, all that stuff doesn't really matter. You can still do pretty much the same bio. You can be set your real age. You can use your real name. That stuff is not a big deal at all. What was really going to matter is the VPN, you know, the, you know, the IP address that you're using, the phone number and the pictures. That's what's really going to come down to. And the last component is using different payment details. This is also very important. Uh, again, like I said, they have different bands, but one of the bands they do is based on your payment software. So for example, let's say my credit card that I was using on Tinder, uh, you know, gets suspended, my account gets suspended, that credit card is marked. Now I create this new profile, I take all these measures, right? I do everything right, but then I try using that same credit card, that profile is gonna get flagged, right? That's not gonna work. So right away, what you need to do is use different payment details. And again, there's different options. You can do Apple Pay, right? You know, that's, you can connect your credit card through Apple and then do it like that instead of putting your credit card directly or just borrow a friend's credit card. Hopefully you have more than one credit card that you can use. You can also use a debit card, but it has to be a different payment option. Otherwise, Tinder is gonna fucking get your ass. I know this shit is a major fucking pain in the ass. Believe me, I've been banned from every single dating app multiple times. It's super fucking annoying. It's frustrating. These apps are pieces of shit, but there's unfortunately nothing you can do. So you might as well follow these measures, get yourself an account, and keep getting those hotties. Anyway, that's at least what I personally like to do. Hopefully you guys found this video valuable. Show us some love by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and clicking the bell for notification. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.